played harder than us. They played a lot harder. They got to the pucks. Uh, they battled harder. I think, uh, I think that's some of the positions that we got to do as a, as a team, as all of us. You know, there's a certain standard of level of uh, how you hope your team's going to be at game in, game out, and hopefully there's even you want to move off of those levels. You know, you know, there's a lot of different reasons, but uh, they say exactly what the reason is. You know, not everybody's 100% every game, um, but across the board, uh, that minimal expectation from one another or how we're skating or how we're moving or how we're competing should be there. Thought about it all day yesterday. Wasn't too happy with it, but uh, woke up today. It's a new day, and the series is 1-1. It's going to be a heck of a series going forward, so... Um, doesn't make it any easier to take the performance yesterday, but it's behind me now. It's behind all these guys in the room, and we're looking forward to Game 3. One of the players Joe Quenville apparently wanted to see wanting it more was Victor Stahlberg, a healthy scratch the last two games. It's likely he's back in with Shaw and Bickle, while Dave Boland replaces Michael Hanzus on the second line. He keep playing the same way I have all year. I think it's been effective. If, if we get to play together again, we've been effective all year, so I don't think we want to change too much, but um, let's get back out and work hard. And, uh, try to do as much as I can. You know, speed, big body, uh, you know, great shot, and, you know, uh, we try to just get to him wide, and, you know, he uses the speed to his advantage. It creates room for us, and, uh, you know, me and Bex try to build the body around and create uh, some more space for him. Besides the aforementioned attitude adjustment, another factor that could help the Blackhawks is their recent success in Detroit. In their last eight games at Joe Louis Arena, they have won seven times, and that only loss was in overtime. It doesn't really matter. It's two teams that are playing tomorrow. It's going to matter, and uh, we feel comfortable in their building, but it doesn't make it any different. It doesn't make it any easier to play. We know it's going to be a tough game, and uh, we got to be playing a lot better than we did last game. Covering the Blackhawks, Chris Bowden, Comcast Sportsnet. Thank you very much, Chris. Much more from the Hawks. Find out what adjustments Coach Q has in store for tonight's Game 3. And Jake Peavy has had his share of trouble against the Angels. Our White Sox postgame live crew recaps a disappointing day for the Sox curler. And the Spurs had the look of a champion Sunday as they completely embarrassed the upstart Grizzlies in game one of the conference finals. Where you don't back down from a challenge. This is the age of knowing how to make things happen. So why let erectile dysfunction get in your way? Talk to your doctor about Viagra. 20 million men already have. Ask your doctor if your heart is healthy enough for sex. Do not take Viagra if you take nitrates for chest pain. It may cause an unsafe drop in blood pressure. Side effects include headache, flushing, upset stomach, and abnormal vision. To avoid long-term injury, seek immediate medical help for an erection lasting more than four hours. Stop taking Viagra and call your doctor right away if you experience a sudden decrease or loss in vision or hearing. This is the age of taking action. Viagra. Talk to your doctor. When the Northsider score three, get one free. After the Northsider score three runs, buy any pizza online and get the second one free online at papajohns.com with promo code NORTHSIDE. Xfinity On Demand presents... I have a violent fugitive making a run for the Mexican border. It looks like a war zone down there. I'm not gonna let that guy come through our town without a fight. I've seen enough blood and death. I know what's coming. The Last Stand. Drive safely. Find it here with Xfinity On Demand. Get closer to the field on game day as Comcast Sportsnet, Menards, and the Cubs team up to select five lucky winners to be a Menards Wrigley Field groundskeeper for a day. The winner will enjoy the full game day experience of preparing the friendly confines and help drag the infield during the fourth inning in front of a packed house. Plus, four tickets to the game, a Menards groundskeeper uniform, and pregame photos on the field. To enter, visit any Menards location to pick up an entry postcard. Every night at 6 30, 10, 10 30, and midnight on Comcast Sportsnet, fans' best friend. We're back on Sportsnet Central. How about a little Western Conference Finals action? Game one between San Antonio and Memphis. Spurs off to a fast start. Second quarter, Tony Parker taking it all the way in for the bucket off the glass. The lead was 18 then. In the third, Danny Green lining up and hitting the triple. No problem. He had three of them on the day and 16 points. More of the same in the fourth. Parker driving through everyone. 
to lay it up and in. He led all scorers with 20 points as the Spurs take game one in convincing fashion, 105 to 83. And could former Bulls head coach Scott Skiles be on his way to Brooklyn? The Racine Journal Times is reporting that Skiles is on the short list of candidates being considered to replace PJ Carlissimo as head coach of the Nets. Skiles career coaching record is just over 500 in 13 seasons on the bench. Jake Peavy did not have his best stuff Sunday afternoon. He came into the game with only eight walks on the season, but he walked five in this one, including four in the fourth inning alone. That put the Sox in an early hole that they could not get out of. After 17 hits and nine runs on Saturday, the offense managed just five hits and two runs on Sunday. The Sox split the series with the Angels. And with more, here's our White Sox postgame live crew of Chuck Garfine and Bill Melton. So after winning the first two games of this series against the Angels, you're thinking, okay, here we go. Sox are going to go on this roll. Well, then they lose two. And then here on Sunday, Peavy struggles with his command out of nowhere. Yeah, I was really surprised because he hasn't really walked that much this year, but to walk five of them today, that's that's really strange. But, it, you know, when he left the ball game, uh, they had only scored four runs. So the Angels aren't a ball club that's hitting the ball real well either. And the thing is, with the Angels, you can't make errors and you can't walk people because if you put a lot of pressure on your defense because we're making errors, that's how the Angels are able to come up and get a couple of wins. Angels are struggling. The team coming to town next, not struggling. That's the yeah. Red Sox. Uh, they are one of the best teams in the American League, and they have a pitching staff and a half right now. Juan Nieves, by the way, the bullpen coach with the White Sox from before, has now joined the Red Sox. He is their pitching coach, and look what they've, he's got to work with. John Lester, 6-0 and this year. Clay Buchholz will be later in the series. He's 6-0. and That's a one-two punch. It's tough to beat. Yeah, don't, don't get me wrong. I like to be in that situation right there, but again, we've only played... 40, 43 games, and a lot of things can change in that period. Now, the Red Sox had a dismal year last year. I think Lester's a good pitcher. Buck Holtz is a good pitcher. Yeah. I think Juan Nieves is a good uh, pitching coach. Yeah. But the thing is, how long can this go on? I'm just, you know, the Red Sox, again, are coming off a manager they didn't like. They got a manager in John Farrell that they like. They're playing really good baseball. They are on a roll. This is where you want to be this time of the year. We're not there. I thought we'd be there, but we're not there. Dylan Axelrod takes the mound tomorrow for the White Sox, and now with John Danks possibly coming back as soon as this week, they got to make a decision. Is it going to be Hector Santiago staying in the rotation or Dylan Axelrod? If he has a good start here tomorrow, I think that's going to go a long way to keep him in the rotation. Well, I think it's going to keep him in the rotation because we need another left-hander down there in the bullpen. bullpen. And Santiago's been there before. Yeah. Not saying because he had a bad outing, but we need to bring a left-hander out of there. And this is a guy that can go two or three innings at a time. So if one of our guys... If Axelrod doesn't go more than two or three innings in a certain game, then you can bring a guy like Santiago. I think it's important Veal, Santiago, and Thorne all be down there. All right, White Sox, Red Sox, starting tomorrow, we'll have the postgame show right here on Comcast Sportsnet. Thank you very much, guys. Make sure you tune in tonight to see the series opener between the Red Sox and White Sox right here on Comcast Sportsnet. Our coverage starts at 5.30 with Sports Talk Live. Then at 7, Hawk and Stoney will have the call live from U.S. Cellular Field. So the Blackhawks dropped an ugly game to the Red Wings, but hear why Joe Quinville and company are convinced they will come back stronger in Game 3 tonight. And it was another quality start, but this time Travis Wood lets a potential victory get away. The Cubs lefty talking about the one pitch he'd like back. Even a high-efficiency dishwasher can't remove spots from your glasses if you have hard water, but a Culligan high-efficiency water softener can. For this special offer, call and say, hey, Culligan man. If you're a golfer, then the Chicago District Golf Association has something for you. The CDGA is home to a state-of-the-art golf handicapping service, which allows golfers of all skill levels to compete on a level playing field. The CDGA sponsors and conducts more than 50 championships for amateurs, high and low handicappers, juniors, seniors, men and women. The CDGA is a leader in charitable causes that brings the game to those with special needs. The CDGA is truly for everyone who plays the game. Visit CDGA.org for membership information and more. Hey guys, thanks for coming. Are we in trouble? No, you're not in trouble. I just uh, want to set some ground rules. Like, like what? Well, remember last week when you hit Vinny in the head with the shovel? <laughs> I do not recall that. <laughs> of course not. Well, it was pretty graphic. Too graphic for the kids. <laughs> so I'm going to have to block you. Uh, you know, i got to make this up to you. This is Vinny's watch, and I want you to have it. You deserve no, it. Thank you. That's really not necessary. No, no. Come here.
I sailed the bit that is 55 million years in the making. Bob Roman's mammoth intense sales event going on now at Bob Roman's shopper Ford Lincoln. Get 0% APR for 60 months on our brand new 2013 Ford lineup. Bob Roman. You owe it to yourself to see us before you buy. Bob Roman, Schomburg, Ford Lincoln. Eight blocks west of Woodfield Mall on Gulf Road, Schomburg. Tonight, it's a battle of the socks as Kernerkel leads the Pale Hose into battle with Big Poppy and the boys from Boston. Watch as Chicago and Boston square off on the south side. White Sox, Red Sox. Tonight at 7 on Comcast Sportsnet. Sports Talk Live, weeknights on Comcast Sportsnet. Welcome back. You can bet it was an angry and determined Blackhawks team that boarded the team charter for Detroit on Sunday. Not the sluggish squad that fell in a 4-1 loss at the United Center on Saturday. Naturally, the players and coaches are looking ahead after being stunned in Game 2. We know we have to be better. This is a... Uh... This is a team you advance in the playoffs where, uh, you know, you got to earn everything you got to get here and uh, forget about what was accomplished before. We got to accomplish everything uh, on our own here. We know uh, we're a better team than that. And, um, you know, it was close uh, for the most part for the first, you know, you know half of the game. And then it kind of got out of hand there towards the end. But uh, we know what we did wrong. And uh, a lot of that just stems from just uh, competing a bit harder. Game three is tonight from the Motor City. And as soon as our White Sox coverage is over, flip it on over to Comcast Sportsnet for Blackhawks Post Game Live. Pat Boyle and Steve Conroy will break down all the action. Plus, you'll hear Joel Quinville's post game comments. And that is tonight after our White Sox coverage ends. Game two between the Rangers and Bruins. Second period tied at two, eight minutes left. Patrice Bergeron sets the screen in front of the net. That's Johnny Boychuk who capitalizes with the wrister. His third goal of the playoffs and the Bruins beat the Rangers. 5-2 is the score. They take a two games to none series lead. Penguins and Senators. Game three, 12 and a half minutes left in the second OT. Andre Benoit shoots, but it is Colin Greening with the rebound and the backhand for the game winner. The Senators win game three, two to one in two overtimes, but they trail the series two games to one. Uh -oh. Deep left. That doesn't sound too good. To tie it up. Oh, come on. Juan Lagares with his first major league home run. <laughs> and that ties the game. The last Cubs pitcher to string together nine straight quality starts was Mordecai Three Finger Brown back in 1908. If that doesn't sell the rarity, I'm not sure what will. Travis Wood doesn't have a nifty nickname that we know of or legendary status yet. But he did match Brown's accomplishment with his own ninth straight quality start on Sunday in the Cubs' 4-3 loss to the Mets. Our Luke Stuckmeyer has your press pass from the friendly confines. As soon as it left the hand, I was like, I didn't like it. I was hoping for he would pop it up or something, but he didn't. He put a good swing on it and hit out of the park to tie the ball game. One mistake made the difference, but even while taking the loss, Travis Wood was good enough for his ninth straight quality start. The Cubs rotation has been the strength of this team. Once you've gotten to, you know, the uh, pitcher through seven innings, I mean, it's a whole nother ball game when you shorten it that much consistently all the time. But if you want something in your back pocket, it's your starting pitching. To bullpen killer. Travis Wood, deep to left. A two-run homer. And they're not just getting it done on the mound. Cubs pitchers have driven in more runs than any staff in the majors. And that nine spot in the lineup has as many RBI this season as the cleanup spot. We got good athletes that you know can swing the bat, so you know they're being aggressive up there and, and taking advantage of the uh, of the of the pitcher's mistakes. So, I mean, it's been a huge bonus. Um, you know, it was too bad we didn't you know win that game today because of you know Woody's you know home run. So far, you know, our pitchers have you know really really held up that nine hole right now. And now here comes Matt Garza making his first start in 10 months Tuesday against the Pirates in Pittsburgh. That means Carlos Villanueva goes to the bullpen and Dale Swaim says he expects his versatile veteran to make that transition smoothly. Obviously the, the whole uh, routine of being a starter is 
done, so you have to come up with, and I mean, he's done it many a time, so he has his own routine about being in the bullpen and, and what he's got to do and understand how many pitches he needs to throw and to come into a game. And, you know, I mean, it, I mean, he's done it many, many times. And now they head out on an eight-game road trip. Covering the Cubs at Wrigley, Luke Stuckmeyer, Comcast Sportsnet. Thank you very much, Luke. The Cubs will enjoy a day off today. Then Tuesday night in Pittsburgh, we'll have the season debut of Matt Garza, who will start the series opener against the Pirates. Sports Talk Live previews the action at 5 o'clock. Then Len and Jim have the call at 6. On your home for Cubs baseball, Comcast Sportsnet. Stick around. We'll be right back with our plays of the day. Diamonds, half carat solitaires, $4.99. One carat, $9.90. Certified one carats are just $19.90. Thousands of GIA diamonds guaranteed the lowest price. The latest designer style set while you watch by Factory Direct, the jewelry exchange in Villa Park. Tonight, it's a battle of the socks as Kernerkel leads the Pale Hose into battle with Big Poppy and the boys from Boston. Watch as Chicago and Boston square off on the south side. White Sox, Red Sox. Tonight at 7 on Comcast Sportsnet. Whenever you want, wherever you go, your favorite shows are there. How does that work? With DirecTV everywhere. We've added Showtime with shows like Dexter and Homeland, so you can watch the same shows you love at home. That should be a good thing. On your cell phone, tablet, or laptop. Why not? Catch up on previous seasons anytime, anywhere. I'm in. Plus, we're adding more of your favorites all the time. Start watching now at directtv.com slash everywhere. For the supplies you need for everyday living, it's good to know there's Blaine's Farm and Fleet. For work, for play, or around the home, Farm and Fleet has been the place you can count on for quality name brand products that make things easier and more affordable. Save on this Danby 50 pint dehumidifier. It's $159.99. A Champion Trigger Start Pressure Washer is $399.99. And Moonrays Clear Acrylic Steak Lights are just $399 each. For more than 55 years, great brands, great prices. That's Blaine's Farm and Fleet. SaferWholesale.com has some amazing deals on thousands of items. Keep the kids occupied this season with inflatable bouncers from $399. We also sell ATVs from $399 and go-karts from $999. From motorsports to beauty products, SaferWholesale.com saves you money. Call us now at 866-606-3991. Visit our website at SaferWholesale.com. That's SaferWholesale.com. Sportsnet Central every night at 6 30, 10, 10 30, and midnight on Comcast Sportsnet, fans' best friend. The plays of the day are presented by Lexus. Number three, Phillies and Reds tied at two, bottom of the ninth. Freddie Galvis goes deep off a roll to Chapman, a line drive walk off home run to left. Chapman gave up back to back home runs in the ninth, the first time he's ever given up two home runs in the same inning. The Phillies go on to win it, three to two. Number two, Astros and Pirates, a long fly ball to center field by former Cub Carlos Pena, Starling Marte on his horse, and he makes a phenomenal diving grab to end the inning. The Pirates shut out the Strohs, 1-0. For number one, we go back to Wrigley, bottom of the fifth with a man on, Travis Wood helping his cause. It's a two-run home run out onto Waveland Avenue. Wood's fourth career long ball is the second by a Cubs starting pitcher this week. Wood gave up three runs over seven innings, but the Mets beat the Cubs four to three. Make sure you tune in tonight to see the series opener between the Red Sox and White Sox right here on Comcast Sportsnet. Our coverage starts on Sports Talk Live at 530. Then at 7, Hawk and Stoney will have the call. That comes live from U.S.